See how my foes increase. See them rising up against me. They rob my soul of peace. In learning about life, my woman brought children for me. So I can sing them more of my songs and I can tell them stories. Okay, all done. My second heart health visit of the morning. Uh, it's just noon now. I've probably driven like 150 kilometers so far. Getting close to my preg test time. Oh, I just realized I forgot my extension arm, like my introducer arm, the thing that, what is this? My introducer arm, the thing that I use to put my probe, my ultrasound probe on to make preg testing way easier. I forgot it. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sad about my arm. That means my real arm's gonna be broken. Oh, if my real arm gets broken, and I predicted it. See, look, both arms good, both arms. If I break this arm, Dan and I saved the day. We made a little mini extension arm out of a calf bolus. Well, Jake helped. Jake, Jake. Did it's going good. We're like moving along nicely. There's not many left. There's always a reason you bring me on these things. Normally you don't need help printing. But today I do. For some reason you do. <laughs> and Finny, we've just we've stopped caring about Finny. He's just free ranging today. Five years ago, I would have never let him do that. Joke, before I got to Darce's, I was doing a live stream and Finney was on the road and a truck ripped by, and I was videoing it, oh, and I God. almost videoed Finny's death. Oh my God. Finn. Okay. You ready? Okay, we're all done our prank test. 170, how long? Almost record timing, 55 minutes. 55 minutes, 170 head. They don't usually go so fast. And lost a girl and brought her back. And proper I didn't even equipment. have my proper equipment. I had this stupid bolus gun. No, I think that made it faster. We need to make the short edition. The tiniest little spray. That's just what happens when we move that back. Oh.
<laughs> what are you doing? Okay, we're just driving home now. That's it for the day. Uh, everything went really nice. That was like the, I think that's the nicest spot besides Tennis Ranches where we prank test. It's pretty nice. Anything profound to say? Anything for what? Profound. Profound? Yeah. No. And thank you very much for opening my juice box for me. Typically what happens is we catch every animal and then we prank test them, but that's not the most efficient way to do things. Uh, there we just had a straight long shoot. We could fit six, six cows in at a time, did the prank test. Uh, it's a little early for them to get their Ibamex, so they weren't getting dewormed and they're gonna be doing a pre-breeding uh, vaccination protocol so uh, no vaccines are needed at the time of prank test so I don't I don't really know why we needed to catch them so we didn't and I just was able to do it from the side I've gotten I've actually gotten flack on the internet from old cow vets that I'll ruin my shoulder doing it that way but I don't think they understand the introducer arm like it, it's so easy it's so easy when you have when you have one. <laughs> so I don't mind when there's a catwalk and you just do it from over top the top bar, but when you're doing that all day, and especially when you have, <laughs> when I when I have like three hoodies on and coveralls, and I have to bend over, it always gives me a super wedgy <laughs> all day long. <laughs> my, like, my splash I, suit is like eating, I think I eating my butt. <laughs> I filmed a few super wedgies. Oh, it's the worst. All right, and that's the day. Wanna hit the camera?